anymore though. Oh, it's bigger. It's big. Oh, oh my God. Oh, it's a nice one. What a beautiful thing. So oh. Whoa. oh my gosh. In this video, we are doing some late fall trout fishing for some rainbows out here. They're stockies. Now the bite is definitely picking up now. And all we're gonna do today is concentrate on my favorite ones. We're just gonna run woolly bugger streamers. I'm gonna show you guys the best colors that I find work in places like this. I have 20 pound 832 suffix braid. And on the end, I have a leader. Like you don't need 20 pound. And we taper it down to six pound, 100% fluorocarbon. This is what it looks like. It's about 18 inches of the 100% fluorocarbon. Then we just go up to a barrel swivel and the rest of it's just the 20 pound braid. I have a non-slip loop knot. So now that woolly bugger is gonna be floating around there the best it can with the max amount of action. If you tie it right up to the end, what it can do is can restrict it a little bit and maybe deter the trout. Now you gotta remember we're fishing trout, not those freaking slough sharks or they're a little harder to get. Now my favorite is always the dark color, natural black ones. We got some nice tan ones right here, nice red ones and some olive ones. And since I'm just casting these with the regular rod, I got the beaded heads. So it's a little bit heavier. It's gonna get us out there a lot easier. <gasps> oh my gosh. They're hitting top water all over right now. They're all around us. It's awesome. There we go. Oh my God. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh my gosh. Oh, pretty good looking. It's a good looking one. Oh, it's a wild one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Baby, look at this thing. Oh, what a Unbelievable. My GoPro died. You guys seen that one on the front of the kayak. My head cam went corrupt of all freaking times, but at least I got a little bit of it. This is the big old girl we got. What a beautiful thing. So I'm so glad I went and reviewed the footage because I do that every time after we catch a fish and it went corrupt. I'm so mad, but you guys missed the main fight from the water, but this is it. She is such a beautiful girl. She is so bright and vibrant. And what we were using was the black woolly bugger this time, but now we're just gonna use a variety like I was saying today. We're gonna switch over to the olive one. This is my second favorite one to use. So we're gonna put the black one down and go back and see if we can get some more uh, little girls like this. I forgot I brought my Frabble, the bump board. I haven't really used it yet. It's an extendable one as well. I've had this for probably four months. Ugh. I mean, it's not that big to extend it, but it goes out to like, 36 inches. We're gonna throw that old girl on here and see how long she is. She's pretty nice though. <laughs> so exciting. There we go, right to the end. And there she is, just over 20, 20 and an eighth, we'll say, just about uh, 20 and a 16th. So she's a beauty. What a beaut. Oh, oh my gosh, she was right there. Oh, right on the edge, you guys. I'm telling you, those weeds. Oh, it's a pretty good one. When they when they stay submerged, you know they're a little older too. It's the the smaller, younger ones that'll actually float around a lot more. Oh, we'll jump a lot more. Come on. Oh 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 oh. Come on. Come on. Oh, I should lose my drag a little bit before. Oh, it's not that bad though. Come on. Man, it's a bigger one too. It's fighting like a bugger. Gotta keep tension. Oh my gosh, it's about the same size too. We're not keeping any more though. Oh, it's bigger. It's bigger. I think it's bigger. Oh my gosh. So this is a fatter one. Oh my Lord. This is a, what a freaking big old girl. Holy buggers, you guys, you gotta follow this setup. It's so simple once you figure it out. And it works so good. We're not keeping it. Got wet our hands. We will not be keeping any more today. Oh, what a big old girl this thing is. Oh, she's fat. This is a football. Legit football. Oh, sorry. Oh, look at this thing. What a meatloaf. My God, these things are healthy in here. And they love the freshwater shrimp. Love it. The fillets are so red in here. Look at this thing. Unbelievable. And then we're using the olive one, you guys. There we go. Trout are so fun to catch. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Another hit, guys, on the olive. Another hit on the olive. Now what I'm doing, I've told you guys this before, but for the new people, I stay basically on the edges. Keep it really shallow. You do not have to go deep for trout. They like it in the weeds, a little bit of cover. But I'll never go out and go the deep stuff, ever. I don't see any point, because trout can live in 12 to 18 inches of water their entire lives, like when you're in the creeks and everything. So there's one. The creeks and everything, so there's one. Jumping over there. Oh my gosh. Let's keep going. There we go. Whoa! Oh my gosh, it's a young one. Woo! It got some freaking air time there. Come on. Ah. Oh my gosh, it bent the GoPro over backwards. <laughs> it's still a really nice trout, you guys. Man, he drilled that in like with freaking full energy there. Wet the hands again real quick, guys, because we're not keeping them. Right in the corner of the mouth. Nice, this is still a really nice eater size, you guys. There's nothing wrong with this trout right here. Give her a nice quick release, and out of here. Fish are so fast. It blows my mind how quick they are. You think you're reeling, and you think you're always going too fast, they won't hit it, but oh no. They are like grease lightning out here. Oh, right there, right there. You see him hit that? Oh my gosh. It was tiny though, but it still is still exhilarating. We love it. I really hope you guys learned something. Follow those tips. I guarantee you it's gonna help you out a lot. And please subscribe if it helped you. See you later.